All right, let's talk about what we're reading today. Now, A Normal Pig is a book that I, I read. Know with... this one. Okay. I know this one. Okay, guys, I need you guys to st uh, stop calling out. All right, we're going to read the book A Normal Pig, and I read it with kindergarten, and I figured I'd read it to you guys because it's actually a good story, but we'll do a more advanced drawing. Okay, now with that said, let's get started. So this book is called A Normal Pig. All right, here we go. Pip was a normal pig who did normal stuff. She liked making art, cooking with her family, and thinking about what she wanted to be when she grew up. Over here, she's like a news reporter, a writer, an astronaut, a doctor, a psychic, a mechanic. Pretty cool. Then one day, a new pig came to school. Ew, what are you eating? It stinks. Pip didn't know how to respond. It was just her normal lunch. The new pig was in Pip's art class too. Weren't we supposed to draw houses? You'd see hers is a house still, but she did it a little differently. Just fine. Pip hadn't changed, but she started to feel different. Is that your babysitter? That's my mom. It looks like she's riding back home on the bus. When her parents asked her what was wrong, she replied, why can't you make me a normal lunch? On Saturday, Pip's mother had an idea. Why don't we take a trip to the city as a family? Pip had never been there before. It looks like they're taking the train or subway into the city. Pip heard so many different languages. Here they are. And there's a bunch of speech bubbles in different languages, so I can't read any of them. Maybe one day. At the playground, all the pigs looked so different. There were striped pigs, different color spotted pigs, even pigs that were completely different colors. Awesome. Even the food was different. Is there anything on the menu that's not so weird? Maybe it's weird for you, but not for me. I like it. When they got home, Pip was feeling better. Do you want me to make you a normal lunch? No, thanks. I'll bring what I always eat. On Monday, Pip sat at her usual table in the cafeteria. Ew, she's back with her weird lunch. Maybe it's weird for you, but not for me. I like my lunch. Do you want to try it? It's good. Want to trade? Hmm, you should try it. it looks like the bully is upset. <laughs> and weirdly enough, by recess, Pip felt pretty normal again. All right, that's the end of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as kindergarten did today. So in order to participate in this activity, you're going to need a blank sheet of paper like how I have and something to draw with. Okay. All right, so kindergarten did a little bit easier drawing. We're going to be doing a more advanced one. And we're going to be holding our paper horizontal like how I have over here. So our first step, what you're going to draw? Your is page is blurry. Yeah, your screen is blurry. Once I start drawing and putting my hand down, it'll get less blurry, I promise you. But thanks for concerning. Yeah, it right, got here we go. I know. I, it's okay. I know. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the table on the bottom. I'm going to do it in pencil first, just in case I have to erase anything. So I'm going to draw a line, 
right down on the bottom of the page like so. Ta-da. Now, what I'm going to draw are the two noses of two pigs. So in the book, their noses look very particular. So their noses kind of look like this, kind of like rounded triangles like this. So here's one nose. And then here's another nose. Okay. All right. Pencil or marker for the nose? You can do whatever you want. I only did pencil on the on the table because I might need to erase it, but I did marker on the noses because I know I didn't I don't need to erase those parts. All right, next part. I'm gonna draw two circles for the eyes. One here, one here, and one here, and one here. Now, depending on where you want the pigs to look, that's where you put the center of their eyes. So if you want to have a pig looking this direction, you want to make sure the eye, uh, pupils go there. If you want to make the pig looking down, you want to make sure the black circles are going downwards, like that. It's up to you, though. You can make it look at straight if you want. Straight is just right in the middle. All right, next step. The top of the heads are a tad bit curved for this style of drawing. So we're not really doing like realistic pigs. We're doing it based on the book. And the ears are kind of flat on top and they curve down just like so. I'll do it for both pigs. So they're pretty identical, just like so. All right, this next part, I'm gonna do it in pencil just in case I have to erase any parts. So from the ears, I'm gonna go straight down to the table, just like so. And I'm gonna do it with the other pig as well. There we go. Now the reason why I did it in pencil, again, is because I might have to erase some parts. Now this next part, I can make the hands doing anything I want. So maybe I wanna have this hand go in this direction on the table. So I'm glad I did the table in pencil. Maybe I want to have his other hand bent and touching his own head, just like so. And then now, since I know where everything is on this pig, maybe I can start drawing back where the lines are supposed to be on the body. Just like this. And if I really wanted to clean it up, I can just take an eraser and clean up those pencil lines that I don't need. So that's another good thing why I did it in pencil first. And even the wrist, by where the table is. Nice, now that pig's all done. This next pig, and again, you don't have to copy me. If you want to make the pig doing something else with their hands, you can. I want to make this pig eating something. So I'll just draw two hands here, one hand here, one hand here. And I'll draw two bent arms, maybe one bent arm this way. And another arm bent this way. And then now I can go back with the body and draw where those lines should be. And then I can erase those pencil lines that I don't need. So there's definitely a line right here I don't need. And then on this joint, there's a bunch of lines I don't need on this side. So you can kind of see which lines I erased if I just zoom in a little bit. See, it's nice and clean now. I was able to erase those lines I don't need. All right, with that said, I can now draw the rest of the table. So it doesn't look like I need to draw anything else on this side of the table right here. But at this point, if I want to add speech bubbles or a certain type of food of your choice, you can. Maybe I'll add a sandwich on this guy's hand. Kind of looks like a mouth, kind of, but that's not what I was trying to do. There you go. Here is some maybe tomato. Some cheese, I guess. There you go. And if you want to add speech bubbles, you can. And that's basically it. If you want to see what I did with kindergarten, all they did was just a simple pig like this. So that's what they did today. And you guys did two pigs, but they're actually interacting with each other instead. So that is it. This is the book that it's based off of called A Normal Pig. I will keep it up here for a tad bit longer. 
and then I will be able to say goodbye in a little bit. But if you want to share what you did, you may hold it up to the camera and show everybody. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. I see Jasmine's, Gabriella's, and David's, Gian's, Merrick's. Uh, I see Teddy uh, tracing his with marker, which looks awesome. Good job, guys. Mithixas, I see Ben's, I Thank see Leo's. You. Oh, by the way, I see some people are doing this, but if you're doing it in marker, just be very careful on um, surfaces that you're uh, drawing on. So if it's going through the paper, uh, you want to make sure that it's not going on like a really expensive coffee table or something like that. You don't want to get yelled at, and I don't want to get yelled at for that either. I used my whiteboard. Oh, that's okay, too. Good job. All right. Good job, everybody. I'm going to keep looking at other people's drawings. I see some people are holding up uh, projects from the videos. I see Nathan's corn picture. I see Sophia. Oh, never mind. That's, <laughs> that's a piece of paper by the camera. Um, I see Ellie's. Uh, oh, she colored them pink, too. Nice. I see Afra's, awesome job. I see Carson's, I see Jasmine's. Um, with that said, I'm gonna keep looking at your projects. I'm just gonna stop the recording though.